This is Coogan Cassius Rifle TV. We're in a secret location hotel here in Glasgow. Head of tomorrow's weigh-in uh, for the He Who Dares show on Friday night. Fighting on that bill, Waddy Camacho. How are you, Waddy? How you doing, Cooks? I'm um, doing fine. And you can tell everyone where we are, man. We're in Holiday Inn, baby. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no, holi <laughs> no Holiday Inn. No Holiday Inn. I'm getting in trouble for that shit. No well, worries, my mum. She's not happy about the Holiday Inn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. You need to respect the women, right? Absolutely. I can see some wording behind you. Is that a message to anyone? Oh, um, I think my, my, my coach did it, um, Peter Sims. Um, yeah. Match of time. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> um, interesting press conference today. Uh, it's quite bizarre. We see Stephen Simmons take a chair and he sort of brought it towards you no one quite knew what he was going to do he placed it in front of you and sat down in front of you and you had your earphones on it was it was all kind of going on yeah what um, did you make of that it was a bit crazy um i think he's just because he he really wanted to keep his cool and like you know he didn't really want to go crazy at mad so i think that's why he just got the chair and he wanted to be in my face and, you know, really and truly, I don't really want to be in his face too, too, too many times, you know. Like I did say to him, um, I don't want to be in his face three times and that's press conference and weigh-in and fight time. So, um, you know, like I said what I had to say. Um, it's a bit rude enough because um, he didn't let me um, finish what I had to say. And, um, you know, when it was his turn, I, I can't really understand him, so I'd rather listen to my house music, so I might as well just, you know, put my shades down and just listen to some music and bop to it. Okay, one second. <coughs> <coughs> this has been a long, drawn-out build-up to this fight. It, it stemmed from probably a year ago when you guys were getting interviewed before there was even talk of a fight between the two of you, and there was sort of a little... Not bitterness, but a little bit of a, a dig out session within the interviews coming from the pair of you. You know, you said that he didn't hasn't done anything to deserve to face you, or he hadn't, you know. Now, now the fight's on. Do you feel like you both, and in that time you've suffered a couple of defeats yourself, do you feel like now you're kind of matched to face each other? Yeah, you know, it's the. It's the right time. Um, like I, I did say to him, you know, when it really started, um, I did say to him, you know, because um, I won the prize fire, I said um, he must wait in line because, you know, winning the prize fire title is, um, gives you opportunities for like, bigger and better things. And he didn't have nothing. So what's the point facing him and me going to Scotland or him coming to London? There, there weren't no point. So I said to him, like to one of his fans, that he must wait in the queue, like, so, and I said to him, um, when he does have something, I will actually come to him, and, you know, everyone can go to IFIL, and obviously check out the, the interview, you know, that I said that, and, you know, now he's got something, you know, I'm in Scotland now, do you know what I mean, it's like, I'm there now to um, take whatever he's got, but the main thing, you know, I'm not looking at this as a, as a title fight, I'm looking at this as a, um, this is my opportunity now to, to, to prove myself now that um, all the mistakes, all the little errors that I've had um, from my two losses, um, now I can put everything together and, um, and you know and, and just prove prove to myself that on, on Friday night. This is your second fight with uh, your new training team, is in Peter Sims. Um, how much of a different fire do you think you are now compared to those? defeats against like China Clark etc um yeah um I'm completely um completely di different different fighter you know um you know obviously Peter Sims um ha had to only do a small little uh, adjustment but that was so crucial and um you know now I, I just feel on top of my game and um from obviously from the errors I had um in the past with you know China Clark and um, that was, um, you know, running around too much and, and stuff like that, trying to sell tickets and that. But, you know, they're, they're the little errors that I had to make, you know, and with the Conquest fight as well, you know, great guy. But, um, you know, now I've put all them little errors, them, they're called them errors. To me, the way I feel is I didn't lose the fight, but yes, obviously I've got a, a loss in my record. But, you know, it's, it's a learning thing, you know, and, I, and I'm so glad that sort of happened, you know, because, you know, I didn't have no, no titles, so I don't really want to give no titles away. And um, now, 
I'm a complete package now and um, you know I'm not going to be um, saying oh, I'm going to be doing this I'm going to be doing that I actually want everyone to tune in on Sky um, or buy your tickets you know come down to Scotland and and watch this amazing match man like because um, I'm just going to be it's going to be amazing you know so what are you, how many fights have you had now? Uh, I think 14, 13, yeah. In that time, you've had three different trainers? Yes. Do you think that there's something in that, that you've had three different trainers? Uh, where do you think the problems have lied? No, um, definitely not, you know. Um, with um, with situation, you know, I, I'm always a I'm person, I keep it real. Um, with, um, with the situation with um, Brian Lawrence, it was a case that um, I didn't feel like he was a, a heavyweight, tr um, heavyweight or cruiserweight trainer for me. Yes, um, he was so great with Ian Napa, um, Eric O'Chain, but you know, I just felt I, I, I needed a little change, you know, you know. And look at that um, performance that I done when I moved over with um, Don Charles, and I done the, the prize fighter. Everyone said, yeah, I looked good, amazing, but still more to improve because I was still still like a baby, you know, um, ten, ten fight, um, only underneath 10 fights. And, you know, w with that situation, after, um, you know, me, me um, fighting Tony Conquest and he wasn't even a situation that I'm blaming him on this and that. At the end of the day, I'm blaming myself, you know, because it was a situation that I let my, my, I let my foot off the gas. But... With the reason why I actually left um, Don Charles, and you know Don Charles, like you're a great man, you know I got enough respect for you, but I just felt that I always came second a little bit, you know. Um, Don Charles, he's he he's your golden um, so um, De Derek Zora, sure. he he's your he's your gold egg, and right? So obviously, you know I felt like all your priority was all on him, and I and I know I'm. I'm a superstar, ready to be making that. But um, it's a situation that that was that, you know. But now everything's on, uh, everything's gonna pass. And now I'm with Peter Sims, and what a great relationship. Um, even before I, I even signed with him, I was actually training over there, sparring with Ben, and um, it, it was just great bond, you know, with Kevin Mitchell, everyone, John Ryder, it, everyone's like a big family, and I felt. That I, ne I needed that because you know boxing is a it's a lonely sport, but you know when you go to the gym and like, you when you feel down you you get lift up straight away because everyone's working hard or everyone's pushing you. Going back to your fight you've got come Friday, um, have you developed a hatred and a, a bitterness towards Stephen Simmons or not? No, 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 not at all, lad. Not at all, lad. I wish I can actually give him a big kiss, now, But uh, no, of course not. Do you know what I mean, he's, he, he's the thing. Is like with me, like no one disturbs me. It's like at the end of the day, you know, words are words. Um, you can come out with any um, negative thoughts or anything. Like it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Do you know what I mean? It's like with me, I've got my job. My job is boxing, and. As soon as we, as soon as we step in the ring, you know, no, no one else can help you, and um, it's just me down to me and the person to obviously do the business. Okay, and do you think there'll be a handshake after the fight between the pair? Handshake? Yeah. No, I'll probably give him a kiss now because he's a female, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean, <laughs> nah, but no, nah, no, nah, totally not. You know, it's like with him, I don't know him. I just probably like just nod my head like that, but. There won't be no handshake and all that. At the end of the day, like I ain't got no like. He's not my friend. Do you know what I mean? It's like I'm fighting him. It's not. I, I show um, enough support to um, all his supporters and everyone in Scotland. But um, there definitely won't be no handshake. And I, I, and really and truly, I don't think he will actually try to shake my hand and that because you know he will feel a bit embarrassed and that because he's like you know him being on the canvas and like. You know, last night, and it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna feel a bit f funny. Do you know what I mean? But you know, I'll probably maybe try that, like, but I'm very unlike, I'm very unlikely. Okay, well, listen, Wally Camacho, thanks for talking to uh, IFL TV. Wayne's tomorrow, which should be quite interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting as well. Um, yeah, it's gonna be. Um, you know, I'm just focused. You know, I'm gonna go upstairs in my room, watch a bit of tennis catch up on the football and um, 
tomorrow is going to be a, another exciting day tomorrow, you know, and um, Saturday is going to be something else. Just want to thank my sponsors, um, Lantern, Boxfit, um, big up everyone at the Boxfit as well, Ken, Oliver, Douglas, Jack, don't worry, I'm going to take you, like I had to top go for now when I get back to Essex, but um, yeah, I'm here, me and my team, nice and focused, ready, ready to do the business, and I feel good, man, you know, you know what time it is, isn't it? Match your time. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy, come out to the to Apple TV. Best of luck tomorrow at the weigh-in, and then Friday night is on. No problem. Um, also, like, Cooks, you need to wear a Yeah, buddy t-shirt, man. What's going on, man? Come on, man. I've got my own t-shirts, bruv. Yeah, I know, but I, I, I want you to have one of my t-shirts and that, do you know what I mean? I've got my own t-shirts, bruv. Are you being serious, yeah? But I, I'll rock one of your t-shirts. Yeah, it's different. What's different? You don't have to stay neutral. Oh, sorry, you're, sorry, sorry. You're the man, innit? No, I'm neutral. Neutral? I'm neutral. <laughs> Okay, what about after the fight? What about next week? Listen, what we do on our social cool. nights out is no one's business. Alright, cool, cool. <laughs> no problem. I love that, I love that. Oh, that's no right. problem. Everyone, um, tune in. Love all the support. And um, oh, I'm serious. Trust me. Thank you very much.